Hi, I'm Chantel and this is Rachel and today we are going to show you how to measure yourself for uh, working out your size when you're looking at costumes on the website as it is one of our most commonly asked questions. How do I measure myself? How do I use the sizing chart? So today we're going to show you a um, few basic tips and things to remember when measuring yourself whether it's for a two-piece or if you're going to go for one of our training one pieces. So let's begin. Now, first we want to start with the bust measurement. We take the tape measure and we measure around the body, almost at, oops, almost at the nipple line. Measuring around, holding it firm. I'm gonna turn around Rachel so we can see where that's going across your back. So basically cross the widest part of your back around, almost at nipple line, and then we measure and hold it firm, but not too tight and not too loose. Basically not like this, there's a big gap and not squeezing in. I know you wanna be smaller, but not for measurements, okay? So basically just holding it firm, placing 84 and a half centimeters, or if you're gonna do inches, um, that is approximately 33 inches around the chest. The next measurement we ask for is your waist measurement. Now in a two piece, you don't need the waist measurement, but in a one piece you do. So we are going to measure the waist. So just above, our, nat our natural waist is just above the belly button. Measure around, cross the top of the belly button, and we're at 70 and a half centimetres, which is about 27 and three quarter inches, give or take. Um, then we do our hips. Now the hips is the boniest part of your body. So your hip bones, basically where your bikini or your knickers would sit. Um, and then obviously we go down to the bottom. So the hip measurement around the widest part, just turning around so they can see where that sits. So now if you're doing a hip measurement and you're particularly wide here and taking into consideration, we're gonna choose a two piece, say, if you don't measure this measurement, you're going to have the overhang of your bikini if your bikini is too small, okay? So very important, it's measuring the hips, holding it firm, checking. So 81 and a half centimeters, so 32 inches. From there, we then turn around and we are going to our bum. Now people ask us, what is my bum? They think it's their hips, it's not. The wide, your bum measurement is the widest part of your cheeks and your widest part of your thighs. So basically we're going around the cheeky part of your bottom, around the thighs, with your feet together on the floor. Make sure you do that, because if you've got a wider stance, you're gonna make that measurement bigger. Um, basically, again, taking the tape measure. This one's a little bit difficult because it can slide down, but propping against the widest part or the cheekiest part of your bottom and your thighs turning around, Rachel, and measuring. So you will have a little bit of a gap but the most important part of this is your cheeks of your bum so that you get the full distance around. Now, that's mainly all the normal measurements and the other measurements that, measurements that other companies um, and you know, manufacturers like to ask for. Um, something that we like to ask for because with chlorine resistant swimwear, um, it doesn't give, it has to be almost true to size so that you get the correct fit. It doesn't stretch like Lycra. So it has to be almost or all but the correct length of your body, um, not taking into consideration any of your width uh, measurements to stretch out the costume this way. So what we ask for is a girth measurement, which can also be called a torso length measurement. Um, and this one is very, very important. But people always ask, how do I measure my girth or my length? They see the little diagram with the line going this way and they think, oh, yep, measure, okay, that's my length. Not actually correct. What we want is we want the full torso length of your body. So that's taken into consideration. Your chest, tummy, hips, bum, up under the crutch, the back of your bum and the distance your back. Some people have uh, for their height, uh, short torso like Rachel here. Rachel's actually five foot 11 um, and she has a short torso for the height that she is. Other people have a long torso um, and it could be exactly the same height as Rachel. So for example, Rachel's a lady size eight, 5'11", has a short body. Our other model, Peter, is 
basically the same height, 5'11", has a longer torso. So in a one piece, she's more a ladies 10 or 12, um, just based on the length of her body. Similar to, like we use the example, when people go and buy bras, for instance, some ladies will extend the length of their straps fully uh, to get the full length over the top of the shoulders. Other women have to shorten their straps. So same with adjustables. Everyone is different proportions and this uh, measurement is very, very important when choosing a one piece and getting it to fit right so it's not cutting you in half. So this is how we measure our torso or our girth measurement. You place the tape measure on the shoulder. Normally we say the right shoulder or your right shoulder. Take it down the body. Yep, standing up straight but not overly straight just and, and not hunched over either. Basically just standing normal, bit tall, you know, shoulders back. Uh, you take the measurement, I'm going to swap sides so I can do this, from the right shoulder down, whoops, we're going to go between the legs and we're going to make sure it's nice and taut, up to the same point on the right shoulder. Now, if you're as tall as Rachel, you are going to have a gap uh, with the length of the tape measure. This is a 60 inch tape measure, which is a little bit longer, all that 1.5 meters or a 150 centimeter length tape in this instance turn around as you can see this is our girth or our torso measurement going diagonally you can see where the tape is sitting going up the other side um, for this instance i have a gap of a couple of inches so an, an inch one inch is two and a half centimeters so there's probably at least yeah it's a little bit so what we'll do is Stop it at the 150. I'm going to put my finger where I started the tape measure and a finger where I finished. And we are going to measure the distance. So I've got 150 centimeters tape. And we are going to measure the distance, which is six centimeters. So her total girth or torso measurement is 156 centimeters which is hold on, so 150, which is 59 inches. So we add approximately two inches onto that. So 61 inches long is her torso uh, length. Very, very important when measuring for your one piece to take in consideration the length of the body because you could be only five foot four or five foot five. Same lady size eight, but your proportions of your torso are exactly the same as hers. So we're just sort of a recap. We need to measure chest, uh, waist, hips, bum, and our girth or our torso measurement. Now, one last thing, if we're going to do a two piece, some people say, oh, I'm very, very broad across my under bust um, and my back size, for example. Women um, or, or that have, who have sort of an 8A cup or um, you know an 8D size cup or they're a 12A or a 12B. Obviously the 8 or the 12 is in relation to their back size. So if you have a larger bust um, but a narrower underband, you're gonna probably have to take that in consideration when choosing a two-piece. Our classic training bikini does have a draw cord underneath to pull it firmer and it does have a very supportive elastic band. Um, but our double tape top is just a really firm elastic uh, or bound band underneath the bust. So when you call or you're a bit hesitant because you know you are a particular funny fit, um, for example, a very narrow under rib cage um, measurement, say an eight with a size D or double D bust, and you normally have issues with sizing, we will normally ask you when you're on the phone, could you please tell us what your bust measurement is? Just your normal, where your fleshiest part is, and then also your under bust measurement. Now this is where we mean by under bust because we wanna make sure that you have enough fabric coverage across the chest, but this is going to be firm enough on you so that you get a good fit and you don't get uh, a gap underneath so that it's not gonna be supportive then. So this is how we do our under bust measurement. Basically around underneath the boobs where the band of your costume will sit or underneath where your bra sits if you're measuring yourself at home. Basically holding firm, yep, all the way around. Again, it's basically, it will probably sneak up a little bit. 
adjust their turn back around. And so your under bust is 76 centimeters, which is almost 30 inches. And her bust was 33 inches. So her bust is three inches or eight centimeters bigger than her under bust uh, is around her rib cage. So um, if we ask that question, that's why we're asking it. Um, or if you have actuals of your actual costumes, um, we'll do another video on that outlining if you're measuring old swimwear. Um, but um, we'll go into that further in that video. But hopefully this helps you guys at home trying, looking online, not sure what size I am. You've got different brands of different costumes that all fit differently. Um, one size doesn't fit all, as you know. It's best to look at each sizing chart individually when you're looking for swimwear and comparing your actual measurements to the sizing guide of the manufacturer to ensure that you get the best fit out of your swimwear. Oh, and one last thing Rachel's just reminded me. Age does not dictate size. For example, I have a size, uh, age, uh, age six girl. Um, she should be a size six costume. Doesn't work like that. Same as uh, girls 12 should be in a girl's, uh, so age 12 girl should be in a girl size 12 costume. Nope, doesn't work. Um, especially when you're getting into that teen area, we have a lot of girls who are in that teen bracket where they're starting to go into puberty. Some, as you know, they get a lot of height, but they haven't filled out. So you could have a girl who may be only 11 and in a lady size eight because she's already gone through her growth spurt, needs the length and the width, and she's starting to develop um, something to take into consideration measure if she's a similar height to you mum she's probably a similar size to you okay so measure if in doubt ring us and we can help you with your sizing but hopefully by doing these measurements you have a better understanding of how to measure your daughter at home or yourself and work out the best fit in our swimwear thank, thank you. you thanks for watching we'll see you in our next video